Hey guys, so I'm going to show y'all how to replace uh, some rivets that have kind of, I guess, been popped out, like right here. You can see that. So I went to Lowe's and I picked up uh, an Arrow multi-pack since I wasn't sure which uh, pop rivets I actually needed. Um, so I'll see which one of those work and then this is a rivet gun, rivet tool, whatever you want to call it, that my dad actually found at Goodwill. I don't know where he magically finds all this very useful stuff, but he had it for like 10 years now in case he ever needed a rivet gun, which turns out I definitely do. So I'm glad he had it and um, I don't know. It's a I don't even know what kind it is. It looks kind of old, um, but I think I need to exchange or change out the, the head since this one is smaller. So this rivet gun has three different attachments and uh, it looks like this one in the middle here will work with our 1 8 inch rivet. So I'm just going to remove that and replace. And it has to be clamped in. I'll just put him back there so I don't lose any of these. Okay. So it looks like that should work. And let's give it a go. Okay, so another thing we're gonna do today is remove some of the dents, like that big one up there, and those up there. And right now I'm just going to clean off the dents so that the um, T dent puller that I ordered on Amazon will actually adhere to the aluminum. So this is just a mixture of TSP, uh, I think a quarter to water. The dent removal kit came with 16 different sized black plastic tabs like the one shown here, a glue gun, and a glue that is strong enough to adhere and pull out dents that will not take off the finish. For the first dent, I chose the largest black plastic tab for the large dent that I wanted to pull out and applied a healthy amount of glue, and then placed the tab in the center of the dent per the instructions. I then hooked the T-bar onto the black plastic tab and proceeded to try to pull the dent out.
As you can see, I'm putting in a lot of elbow grease with not much progress. So over time, I figured out that using multiple tabs at different angles worked much better. This method of dent removal actually worked much better than I expected to get the large dents out. However, it did not work as well on the tiny hail dents and other small nicks from rocks and whatnot from traveling. And I still haven't figured out how to get those tiny dents out. And it kind of bothers me because it's not that completely smooth, beautiful, untouched aluminum skin that you see on the newer Airstreams. But after talking to several other Airstream owners, I came to the conclusion that small dents are just beauty marks for an older gal, as it's a sign that she's been well-loved. I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts on dent removal, and if anyone else has found a good way to take dents out of their Airstream without taking down the interior skin. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel and follow me on my quest to find a meaningful, simple life through enjoying life's small pleasures, spending quality time with family, and of course, taking on a massive Airstream renovation.